Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by KeepsakeCrafts.net and AllFreeJewelryMaking.com. Today I'm going to show you a new way to use chain to make beautiful tassels with these glass bead earrings. So to make these earrings you'll need two focal beads. These are lamp work beads with some gold stone on them. They're about seven eighths of an inch tall and a half inch wide, but use whatever you can find that works for your style. Two small round spacer beads, two ear wires, two head pins, and then for our tassel you'll need some chain. This chain has about 12 to 13 lengths per inch, which is finer than what you usually see me use. But this is just the right size to make very cool tassels. You will also need two pairs of chain nose pliers, a pair of round nose pliers, and a pair of wire cutters. And the first thing you will need to do is use your round nose pliers and measure off one inch of chain. And I'm just going to guesstimate here. Let's see. In just the same way you open a jump ring, grab one side of a link with one pair of pliers and the other side with the other, and twist just like you would open a jump ring to get yourself a small length of chain. So you'll need to do that nine more times so that you have ten one inch lengths of chain. So now I've gone ahead and cut my little one inch pieces of chain. One thing to keep in mind when you're working with chain this small is don't worry about trying to preserve the links that you twist apart. In fact, I just went ahead and cut them with wire cutters, so I counted out 12 and then cut the 13th on each of these. They're just too small to bother with trying to preserve them. So we're going to build these earrings a little differently than normally. Usually I work from the bottom up but I'm going to need a bigger eye than these eye pins have to accommodate the chain. So we'll start with this little spacer bead that's going to be above our uh, focal bead. Let's see if I can find the hole. There it is. And then slide on your focal bead. Go ahead and grab it right where the Grab the, um, the eye pin right where it comes out of the bead. Bend at a 90 degree angle. Grab your round nose pliers. Wrap it around. And then shift the position of your round nose pliers. Notice I'm not, normally when I make a loop, I want to make it nice and small. So I do it right at the tip of the pliers, but I want to make this loop bigger, like I said, to accommodate all the chain. So I'm going maybe three-eighths of an inch up. Now I'm going to leave this, actually, like that for the moment. And you'll see why. And I'm just going to make sure there's a little space there, because I'm going to slide on my chains now to make my tassel. So slide the end link of each of your chains right on there. So here we are. I've gone ahead and strung on all of my little pieces of chain. And now I'm going to finish this a little bit differently than I normally do. I'm going, just for security's sake, I'm going to wrap, and there's a couple different ways you can do it, but I'm just going to wrap this at least once. Sorry about that, I went off camera on you. Around this bit of wire. It's a little tricky. You probably have to do some straightening out, but I just don't want those chains falling off. That would stink. And once you get it wrapped, go ahead and use your wire cutters to cut off the excess wire. And always, whenever you cut, make jewelry, always check with your fingers for rough spots. See how that's sticking out? I want to use my pliers and flatten that so that it's not going to catch in hair 
the clothing, if you're pulling something on over your head perhaps. And then the last step is just to open up our ear wire. and pop on the top part of the eye pen. And there you have it, a tassely earring. And it looks like I might have have I might have an extra link there, so I'll just I'm just gonna have to just cut that one right off. It really is the easiest way to do it. There's no point in trying to save it. There we are. That looks better. So go ahead and repeat for the second earring. And here's another look at our tassel earrings. These would be great as part of a wedding ensemble or for the holidays or even just kind of beachy something. But they're beautiful dressy earrings with a minimal of supplies. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you'll give this project a try. For more crafting and jewelry ideas and inspiration, please be sure to check out keepsakecraft.net. Thanks for watching.